So wheel weights, brass weights, what do they do? What are the pros and cons of adding them to your vehicle? Hang in there and find out more from RC Review. not only review products, but we tell you about concepts, uh, tips, and, and, and kind of try and share what we learn about the hobby and, and crawling. So consider subscribing and click on our links if you like any of the products that you see here. So adding weights, you can add wheel weights, you can add brass to your vehicle. What does it do? What are the pros and cons of it? So in my experience, adding weights is probably, you know, the one of the most significant top three things you can do to your vehicle, but it's not without downside. So you should be aware of what it does and how it's gonna harm you as well. So when you have a vehicle like this, this is your Axial SCX-10 III, you know, it is a heavy, heavy body, 500 grams for the body because it looks so realistic, right? It looks so cool. So if you want to improve performance, basically when you try to, when you start uh, crawling it, two things gonna happen. It's gonna topple over like this, center of gravity. And then when, you, when you're trying to climb, it just flips over like that. So how do you counter that? Is you lower the center of gravity. And the two ways to lower the center of gravity is you remove top weight. So remove top weight means you get rid of this. This 500 grams, you put a 100, 100 gram body you know, you look at all the comp crawlers, they have hardly have any body. Uh, they look like they have a plastic hat on them. <laughs> and you can do that for sure. And that is the number one way to improve performance because you're reducing weight and you are, which, what do you call this, uh, lowering your center of gravity as well. But let's say you don't want to do that because you want to keep the realism. You know, it's a Jeep you, or a Defender. It's something you... You, you, you like when you play, you know, something you aspire to or something you wanted when you were a kid or something that mimics your real vehicle in the garage. So to counter the weight up high, your driver and whatnot, you add weight as low as possible. And the two lowest parts of your vehicle are your wheels and your axles and your hubs. So that's where you add weight. So I'm gonna to talk to you about adding weight on the wheels and adding a weight on the axles. What's the difference? What's good for you? And what does it do? So the easiest way to add weight is in the wheels. So you put a ring like this inside the wheel, put some lead shot, some, some solder, whatever heavy thing you can put in there and inside the tire. And there you go. And so what does that do? That lowers your center of gravity. And normally it's easy to do. You could add front first, first and foremost, because you want to settle that front down. And you add rear if you want to balance out the vehicle if it's not descending really well. So it's, it definitely works. The one downside, two downsides of it, one is more real than the other. The, the, the more real downside is it affects your acceleration and your braking. You know, whenever you want to do like a little power move, a little punch, spin up real quick, you have to spin up those weights that you added in. So it, it, it's going to degrade your punch and on braking you have to decelerate that, that brass ring that you added in there. So not a big deal for some but it definitely makes a difference. If you have a powerful motor that can overcome it, no problem. But everything else being equal, lightening the wheels and, and tires is going to make you spin up faster. So that is the one thing with wheel weights that you have to understand. The other one, the other concern that's not as uh, as much of an issue in, in our category is stress on your motor, your drivetrain, and electronics. So, uh, the, and it is, it is an issue if you have an X-Max, if you have a slash 4x4, you're going 50 miles an hour. Anything you add on the wheels is adding stress to the drivetrain, making things heat up. But we are in the world of crawling. We're going about 3 miles an hour, you know, especially at the critical moments. That's nothing.
you know, the inertia that you're trying to uh, counter with stress is nothing. So, and if you have a good vehicle, a TRX4, yeah, a Vanquish, a BRX01, those drivers are so bulletproof, you know, a, a little weight on the wheels is not gonna, it's not gonna affect your durability, longevity at all, at crawl speeds, okay? So the other way to add weight is in the axles, you know, in the hubs, um, axle cover, portal hubs, portal axles here. Portal axles are really cool because they're so big uh, on, on the end low that if you add weight there, it really makes a difference. So these are Vitavon portal axle covers, covers only, and they really uh, settle down this vehicle. I think 200 grams almost for, uh, for these weights. And so what's cool about it is it doesn't affect your acceleration or braking. You know, it, it, there's no inertia, you don't have to spin them. So they're there, they work really well. And the way they designed them is most of the weight is on the lower part of the axle. So really cool. The downside of this kind of weight is, is it's expensive. It's expensive uh, and it's not portable. You know, once you put on a vehicle, it's not like a set of wheels so you can put on another one uh, that you're playing with. Uh, it's there, you have to buy one for every vehicle that you have and you can see the problem. So the other weight that is common is, is a portal axle cover or just, an, just I mean an axle, uh, a pumpkin cover right here. So this one will replace that red piece over there. Boom, boom, and you're good to go. But it's not as much weight. This one's one of the heavy ones. It's 60 grams as opposed to almost 200 grams over there. So that's the difference between uh, adding weight in the wheels and adding weight in the axles. Money and uh, inertia and, and all that. You know, if you had the choice, it's better to add them in the money, better to add them in the axles. Uh, but if you want to add them on the wheel, your wheels, you can buy them, you can make your own, put some lead shot in there. Uh, that works as well, just as long as you understand the trade-offs. All right, thanks a ton.